Once you've powered off the phone, you'll then need to remove the battery door. You'll also want to remove the battery and any SIM or SD cards that it may have in it. You can now begin to heat the front of the phone to start the removal of the display itself. When heating the display, you'll need to be very careful as it can be relatively easy to burn the screen. Listed on screen now are a few known ways to safely heat the display. Once the display has been adequately heated, you'll want to start prying the screen up towards the top. Once you're able to get underneath the glass, you'll want to swap the tool out for plastic of some sort as the metal can easily scratch the paint off or crack the glass. You can then carefully work your way around the top and the sides of the display, though keep in mind that the flex cable for the display is located on the right side a little more than a half an inch down from the top of the phone, so you'll want to be cautious in that area. Once the adhesive on the bezel has been unadhered, you should be able to carefully begin to pry the screen away from the phone to expose the flex cable for it. When removing the screen, you'll need to get behind this cable to remove the screen successfully. Once behind the cables, again carefully move the tool between the display and the midframe to unadhere the two from each other. You'll also want to avoid the bottom area around the home button at this time, but I'll demonstrate how to remove that shortly. There shouldn't be much effort involved in pulling the display away from the midframe, so if there's too much resistance, apply more heat and get between the two with the tool again. Once the top of the display becomes unadhered, you should be able to see where the display clips into the phone. You'll want to remove this clip before moving forward. Before removing the bottom of the display, you'll want to unclip the home button as it usually sticks itself to the display. This can be done by removing a plastic shield on the back of the phone and removing the clip shown here. Then, while removing the display, the clip can be fed through to the other side. Once you're ready to remove the bottom portion of the display, pulling the display away from the phone, you should be able to see the capacitive navigation keys on both sides of the home button. You'll want to make sure that these are not adhered to the glass before removing the display completely. You'll be able to better see what these keys look like and where they're located once I've completely removed the display. Once the display is off, you may need to remove the home button from it if the new display didn't come with one pre-installed. This can be done by prying the spacer for it away from the glass and then carefully peeling the flex away from the copper backing. Before attaching the new display, you'll want to remove any remaining adhesive that may be stuck to the phone midframe or bezel. If removing adhesive from the capacitive navigation keys, you'll want to exercise a lot of caution as they're very frail and can be damaged easily.
The home button can be re-adhered to the new display now if it didn't come with one. You'll want to remove the old adhesive from the button before applying any new adhesive and setting it into the display. Before applying the new adhesive to the phone, you'll want to make sure that you've removed most of the old adhesive. To do this, you can carefully scrub with isopropyl alcohol to remove anything that may be remaining. When reapplying the adhesive, you'll want to apply it directly to the main frame versus the glass of the display. This will ensure that the display sits flat and is adhered properly. You also will want to make sure that none of the adhesive applied covers any sensors, the front camera, flex cables, or put beneath the LCD. If adhesive is placed beneath the LCD, depending on the type that you use, it can cause damage to the LCD or cause strange discoloration. It can also make it much more difficult if you ever need to remove the display again for whatever reason. After the adhesive is applied, you can begin to sit the display in by first attaching the flex cable for it to the board, as well as threading the flex cable for the home button through to the other side and clipping it in. You can then begin to carefully seat the display in the rest of the way. At this point, with the display fully adhered, the shield that covers the clip for the home button can be replaced, as well as the SIM card, SD card, battery, and battery door, completing the repair.